Tonight, we drive down a sewer. We power slide across a field. And we do some other things as well. I can't see where I'm going. Thank you, everybody. Hello. Hello and welcome. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Now. What do you suppose is the slowest means of transport in this day and age? Canal boat? James May. <laughs> James May? <laughs> Getting a piggyback from James May, possibly. <laughs> Turns out, though, the answer is air travel, as Richard Hammond explains. This is an airport. It's a place where you wait around a lot. But the waiting isn't just because of delayed planes. No, the problem runs deeper than that. Everything that moves at an airport just takes an age. The tug that drags the plane to the gate crawls like a snail. The bendy bus that ferries the passengers to the plane is deathly slow. The catering truck is always late. The fuel truck just meanders about with no sense of urgency. And as for that little thing that drags the luggage around in a big train, well, maybe that's the reason why you always have to wait for a year at the luggage carousel. Net result, misery. In fact, some youngsters who check in to fly somewhere on a school trip often die of old age in the departure lounge. And that's an actual fact. Time then for Top Gear to step in. And in the same way we solve the bendy bus issue, we shall tackle this problem through the crucible of motorsport. So let's begin by assembling a selection of typical airport vehicles. First up, the aircraft steps. Never there when you need them. Let's have something buck their ideas up a bit today. Then we have the thing that lugs the luggage around, complete with the luggage. The fuel tanker, heavy and full of stuff. Fuel. Next, the bendy bus that ferries the passengers around. We're already pretty familiar with those. Ah, the fire engine. Absolutely no excuse for tardiness for that one. And the catering truck, always late, sometimes better if it didn't turn up at all. And finally, the heaviest beast of all, the aircraft tug. So, there we are. A group of machines that normally trundle around at a snail's pace. But just...